So far, America, Russia, China are the only three countries that have been able to land on the moon. Now, India is also going to land on the moon with the project Chandrayaan-3. India is going to create a history as the fourth country to land on the moon. What is Chandrayaan-3 project? What are they going to do in this project? What are the benefits to India get through this project? Today, I am going to give you all answers through this video. Let's start our episode. Hello everyone, this is Akila and you are watching AK Info. Indian Space Research Organization ISRO is sending a vehicle from Earth to Moon. The vehicle will land on the Moon and moves around there and take pictures and send it to the Earth and also test the soil on the Moon. This is the main agenda of Chandrayaan-3 project. I'll tell you how the process gonna happen. For this, all we need is three objects. First one is rocket, lander and a rover. Let me tell how these objects help to travel to the moon. This is a rocket. It has five parts. Part 1, 2, 3, 4 are called as thrusters. Thrusters consist of fuel and engines. These thrusters propel the rocket upwards. Fifth part consists of lander and rover. We'll discuss about lander and rover later. This is the most important part. The objects present in the fifth part are gonna land on the moon. But the part 1, 2, 3, 4 run out of the fuel and get separated in the middle of the way. The caps that present on the fifth part also get separated. The parts that present inside the fifth part will stay till the end. The fifth part consists of lander and rover. Lander looks like this when it lands on the moon. The rover come out of it and moves on the moon. Let me tell how this happens. This is the launching site. This is located at Srihari Kota in Andhra Pradesh. They keep the rockets there. The name of the rocket is Launch Vehicle Mark 3 LVM3. As soon as the engines turn on, the rocket moves up. As part 1 and 2 thrusters run out of fuel, they get separated from the rocket after a short climb. After moving a little further up, the panels above the fifth part will also separate. Later, part 4 also gets separated. After moving a little forward, Part 3 gets separated as it run out of the fuel. At last, the lander will remain. Slowly, it starts its journey to the moon. It moves by revolving around the earth. You may wonder why it moves by revolving instead of going in a straight direction. I'll tell you this later. By revolving around the earth and the moon, finally the lander lands on the moon. A vehicle comes out from it. The name of it is Rover. It moves on the moon surface, takes pictures and send them to the earth. Also test the soil on the moon. You may get a doubt that where do the thrusters go after they get separated from the rocket. They fall into the ocean since it will be launched from the area next to the ocean. Another reason for launching the rocket beside the ocean is if any accident happens to the rocket, it explodes, then it will fall into the ocean. By this we can prevent the loss of human lives. Ok now let me tell you why the lander doesn't move in a straight direction instead it moves by revolving. Let's take an example of a vehicle moving on a normal route. It moves fast even with a little acceleration. But when it is moving on a hilly area we need to give more acceleration. A vehicle move 10 km with 1 litre of petrol on a normal road. But the same vehicle on hilly area goes 5 km with the same 1 litre. Since the road is uphill in hilly areas, gravity pulls it down, so it have to overcome the gravity, which means you need more fuel. That is why the rockets revolve around the earth to save the fuel. After some time, the gravity of the moon pulls the lander towards it and spins lander around it. Then the lander gently gives the brakes and lands on the moon. It can also go in a straight direction to the moon, but it requires a lot of fuel. If more fuel is needed, the rocket should be bigger. And if a rocket should be bigger, more money should be spent. So in order to save the money, they use this technique. The most important stage in Chandrayaan-3 is landing stage. Many countries like Japan and Israel failed in this landing stage. Even Chandrayaan-2 also got failed in this landing stage. So landing stage is very crucial. Rocket was launched on 14th of July. This journey takes 45 to 48 days. On the August 23rd or 24th, the lander is going to land on the moon. On Earth, we have 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness. In the same way, on the moon, there are 14 days of light and 14 days of darkness. So until the light comes on the moon, the lander should land on the moon. Let's hope that Chandrayaan-3, which is the pride of our country, will be successful. Hope you all liked the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you. See you all in the next video.